favorite concert. Um, whoa. Wow. There's been a few. Um, there was a very, it was like when I was about 12, 12 years old, I saw a lot of, con it was 1978, I saw a lot of good concerts that year. One of them being the Texas Jam. Uh, Van Halen, first record. Frank Marino, Aerosmith, Ted Nugent. Uh, great concert. I was just a little kid in La La Land and watched every single band um, from like 10 in the morning till three in the morning. You know, definitely changed my life. Um, about, maybe about 25 years ago, I took my bass player to this tiny club in Dallas to watch Stanley Jordan play. And he had um, just, it was just a three piece. And, but he came out first with just a light shining down on him. And I was like three feet away, away from him. That concert inspired me for a really long time because I'd never seen any, I, even the time I saw him before, he didn't play that good. I mean, he was on fire that night. That was, that was definitely a life changer. I saw Randy Rhodes with Ozzy Osbourne on Ozzy's tour before the first Ozzy record came out at Will Rogers Auditorium in Dallas. And we're talking like 300 people there, man. And I was front row. That completely, uh, to this day, uh, changed my life as far as looking at guitar playing. When I was growing up, a lot of guitar players didn't use their pinky. And it really bugged me. And I was like, man, why would you leave that finger out, man? That, that little guy's important, man. And you know, to me, it was all more notes, better. Uh, and uh, uh, Randy Rhodes did that, you know, used his, used his pinky in a very classy way. Um, I think those are, uh, ah, Danny Gatton. I saw Danny Gatton in Austin uh, 80, 89 or 90, tiny play, I don't think it might have been Antone's in Austin, uh, didn't know who he was, friend, uh, A&R girl I knew at the time took me down, she goes, you gotta see this guy, he will blow your mind, went down there, and man, he blew my mind, I was hooked, uh, unbelievable guitar player, uh, in fact, I should have mentioned him and my influences. I also left out a number one, going back to my influences, <laughs> and a number two, I knew this was gonna happen. Roy Buchanan and Jeff Beck. Roy Buchanan, hands down, man. Uh, uh, good Lord. But uh, those are probably the main uh, concerts that inspired me uh, to go on and like when I went when I saw those shows I went home and practiced yeah you know? 